pro-choice America. And you know, a generation ago, as a woman who experienced having no right to decide when to become a mother, I became very, it became very clear that the words in the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, the pursuit of happiness, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness doesn't work if one can't make decisions about one's life. Health care has become that central mission. It is central to our lives, it's central to our families' lives, it's central to our community, our nation, and the world. So, uh, you know, you've heard so much today about how important this single payer is, because why bother with all the rest of it? I mean, it's a waste of time. No, it's not a waste of time. But it is clearly, single payer is the only option that is really going to give Americans dignity, save our lives, protect our health, ensure our futures. And it may take, a, it may take a, a while to get there, but every one of you today is part of the movement for change. Historically, we have rendered uh, some of the injustices uh, over in our country, but look at what it took. Movements for people of color, movements for women, movements to end war, movements. You are part of this very important social change movement. And uh, as an activist for all my life, I'm very proud to be among you because I've experienced personally now a health care crisis that has turned my family's lives into a financial nightmare. So hang in there, guys. When you leave here today, just become, you know, advocates with your neighborhood. Organize. And thank you very much.